water is a universal solvent. It means water can dissolve most chemicals or substances. It also regulates body temperature. Earth is three-fourth or 75% covered by water. The different forms are oceans, lakes, brooks, streams, and rivers. On the other hand, water cycle is the movement of water that circulates between being liquid water to water vapor and to being liquid water again. An example of water cycle is when water evaporates from the ocean and then returns to the land in the form of rain or in Tagalog, ulan. This is an illustration of water cycle. Why is water cycle important? The water cycle is important because it is how water reaches plants, animals, and us, tayong mga tao. Besides providing people, animals, and plants with water, it also moves things like nutrients, pathogens, and sediments in and out of aquatic system. The water cycle is an extremely important process because it enables the availability of water for all living things, organisms, and regulates weather pattern in our planet. If water didn't naturally recycle itself, we would run out of clean water which is essential to life. Mahalaga sa ating buhay. Water is a renewable resource because of water cycle. But a lot of places in the world and in our country do not have enough water because there are two problems with water. Amount of distribution and quality or safety. Surface water and groundwater are two important sources of water supply. Nagsisimula ang water cycle sa evaporation. Evaporation is the process of turning liquid o yung ating surface water into vapor. Ito yung tinatawag na water vapor. Ang water vapor, ito yung liquid that turns into gas. It is one state of water within the hydrosphere. It can be produced from evaporation or boiling of liquid water or from the submulation of ice. Itong water vapor na ito, aakit yan sa ating atmosphere at sila yung bubuo ng clouds. Sa clouds naman nangyayari yung condensation. Ang condensation, ito yung process na kung saan yung water vapor, siya ay gas, that vapor will turn into liquid. May ipon yun sa clouds and then bibigat yun. So, ano ang mangyayari? It will rain. Dito naman papasok yung isang cycle, yung tinatawag na precipitation, na kung saan, mula sa clouds, ire-release niya na yung mga water vapor na naging liquid in form of rain or in Tagalog, ulan. Bukod sa evaporation, meron din tayong tinatawag na transpiration. Transpiration is the release of water from plant leaves. So, yung ulan na iyon, mapupunta ulit yon sa surface water. Mula ulit doon, magkakaroon ulit ng evaporation na kung saan yung surface water, yung liquid, will turn into water vapor. So, aakyat ulit yon, and then makakagawa sila ng clouds. Sa clouds naman nangyayari yung condensation na kung saan yung water vapor babalik siya sa pagiging liquid. Kapag mabigat na siya, irerelease na siya ng clouds. Dito naman nangyayari yung precipitation. When water is released from clouds in the form of rain. So, uulan na naman, magiging surface water na naman siya, and then, paulit-ulit lang ito mangyayari. Kaya ito tinawag na cycle or water cycle. So, I hope nakatulong itong maikling video na to sa paggawa ng inyong module. Have a great day everyone! Bye!